coaxial cable. Yep, that's the TV one. Yep, it tastes like Family Guy. That's definitely TV. Look at this. Look at this. There's two nails. There's two nails that I missed. There's two of them. And that's the whole day. Every time you think that you're done, there's just, there's two more somewhere just hanging around. Welcome to another edition of this old crack house. Do you hear that? That's progress. Progress is happening up above us. Because, yeah, I can hear you giggling. It's okay. The people need to know that I'm not alone or the voices are just in my head. Uh, I'm your host, AC. Welcome to the Crack House. Today, we're gonna talk about the, um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's lights in here. That's right, we have electric in the house. And we're prepping right now the entire home for insulation and, and then drywall. <laughs> I know, it's fucking mind blowing. There's been a whole bunch of cleanup. The basement looks great. And we're gonna walk through that. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time lapse showing me work on things like a normal person. The basement's gonna look really cool. And I found some weird shit in the basement that you're gonna wanna look at. Oh, and there's a surprise at the end. Two surprises, if I can remember them both. Join me, won't you? It's hard to see. We started the day. You're, you're gonna see me time lapse the shit out of this because it's been all day. Why are you taking nails out of the walls? And I'm gonna tell you because I need the insulation guy to come in and put up insulation. And you're gonna say, what's that got to do with insulation? Well, if we cover up the walls and they tack in all the insulation against, you know, against the walls and then tack it in against the two by fours, you're not gonna see any of the nails sticking out. And then the drywall guy's gonna come in. And the drywall guy's gonna go, oh, there's a shit ton of nails on the studs. How am I gonna put the drywall up? And he's gonna say, you can figure it out because that ain't my job and I'm gonna have to come back here and take all the nails out of the side with the insulation already up. So I gotta get that done now and that's what we did. An entire day of just taking nails out of studs. I'm sure that there's some sort of sexual innuendo there but I'm so tired that I could give a fuck about it right now. I, the, the, the sad thing is, is that there's nothing to show you. Hey, look, a stud, like you've never seen one before. It had nails, I swear, but now they're gone. Ta-da! All I could do is look at little piles of garbage on the ground and hold up the nails, and then that's, that's all I could show you. But some cool things I can show you is that we have the electric in. Oh, oh, it's, that's sexual. That's definitely a two-hander right there. Milk and the electrics, that's what I do. We got boxes. You're gonna say, hey AC, that's a short little box there. That's a thin ass wall. Why are the studs sideways? Because it'd be like that sometimes. So, we've got these metallic boxes that assist in God knows what. I know the answer to that, but I completely forgot it. Someone please remind me in the comments what the hell the metal boxes are for. Grounding, right? So there's no shorts. 
through the closet. We've got all of our boxes in the walls. We got the wiring coming through. Thanks to Aero Electric, my buddy Chris. Check out Aero Electric if you're in Buffalo. He's super anal in a good way. At, like, he doesn't like twisting his wires. He lays, he's, he's super upfront with me with like, hey listen, you want it done right? You call me. You want it done right after somebody fucks it up? Then call somebody else and then call me. And, I'm, and he's right, he's right. He's fixed a lot of shit for me. So yeah, Aero Electric, check them out. We've got switches. Oh God, I love switches. An actual switch that I can turn it on, turn it off. Oh, very exciting. Everything's coming together. And look at this. We have lights. Now they're temporary lights, thanks to Chris. And Aero Electric. I'll shout them out the whole fucking day. I'll do it. So let's go downstairs and check out some of the things we've done. Now you'll notice that there's no nails in the walls here. Look at that. There's no lath and plaster nails. There's some nails sticking out, which I've stuck my hand on already, and that really sucked. But you know, that's part of it. I gotta fix these stairs. They're like, they're scary, kind of shaky and not so great. And you can see through them. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do with that. I'm gonna have to do something, but I don't know what. Well, come on down. Let's look at this. Oh, oh, we're gonna have a hallway light. We're gonna have a porch light. We're gonna have an upstairs light for that one that was kind of up there temporarily. We've got. recessed lighting. I hope you like living in class because I'm pretty sure I'm going to turn this into an Airbnb. I'm going to put this old crack house shit everywhere and like links in like the Airbnb book when you open it up and they're like, hey, welcome to the Airbnb. Here's some bullshit you should learn about the Airbnb and the area you're in. I'm going to say, if you're bored one afternoon and you've got a couple hours to kill, you pop on this old crack house and you appreciate the nice recessed lighting that I got for you because I took everything out of here and thought I had to the future. Who we got? All of our electric, our heater is working. I, I took out all the old bullshit fake doorway. There used to be like two doors in here that would open up to the living room, which would be kind of cool if it was a grand living room, but it's not. <laughs> Nothing in here was super great, was it? So as this, this is the living room. You guys said you wanted Ethernet cable. It's not on yet. We've got Ethernet cable and we've got coaxial cable. Yep, that's the TV one. Yep, it tastes like Family Guy. That's definitely TV. That tastes like YouTube. So this is this is internet. Ready and set up oh, with a couple plugs for the Hello Vision. That's a television. It's a smart TV. It says hello to you. I just thought of it. I do have bad news. This is why knots in wood are bad. You see that crack? That means that this beam really ain't holding shit. Now that's not an issue. I just got a sister, a, a couple two by eights on either side of it long enough to make up for it. And I'm already seeing the knot on this other one cracking so I'm gonna sister that one too, just to make sure that everything is copacetic. I gotta jack it up. Luckily, I've got a couple basement jacks that I've got on hand from the dickhead contractor that I used to have. So those will, we'll, we'll set those up, we'll push those up with the two by eights, and then we'll sister them together, which means joining them with screws or lag bolts, or bolt, I'll bolt it through with the carriage bolt maybe. And then that will be super strong. Uh, what else do we do? Oh, what I, let's, do a, let's do a little 180 here. Swap it, swap it, swap it. Go around me, go around me. Oh, I've had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. Yes, I'm singing. Back up more, but watch your feet. There's a bunch of shit behind you. What used to be here? Well, a little bit, some pillars, right? Some little separation from the dining to living room area and it's all it looked good it looked okay-ish it could have been redone but it was dated it wouldn't look it wouldn't have looked right with everything being new in here and having these old nonsense pillars in here so I took them out Kia Kia insert time lapse
come down this way. We've got the bathroom, the half bathroom, and as a half bathroom, we've ran into an issue where the vanity is uh, it's supposed to be centered, the light's supposed to be centered on a vanity, and just to get me through the, the wall. Through the windows! Through the walls! All these crack house halls makes me fucking ball. So the vanity is supposed to be centered on, or excuse me, the light is supposed to be centered on the vanity. Vanity's gotta be here, vanity's the sink and, and cover underneath the sink combination, right? And there's the poop pipe. You can't see, the poop pipe's in the way. So instead I, I fixed it with an overhead light. So you're gonna have the fan, an overhead light in the fan, and then you're gonna have more recessed lighting here directly over the hand washing station in the half bath. I have run into one issue. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the fridge in the kitchen. So I'm thinking of doing a horizontal fridge, like one where there's, it's like underneath the countertops. So you pull out one half of it and it's a freezer and then you pull out the other half of it and it's a fridge. Or I could get like an old uh, bar refrigerator and put it in there it's gonna be different. It's just gonna be different. Let's go in the basement. Because things have happened down there. Uh, oh, what? There's light? Fantastic. And there's no shit. Oh, look at all the lack of shit. Behold the lack of shit I have. Oh. Well, that's useless. That's not even plugged in anything. Why is it like that? Come on in. We got all the poop taken care of. There's no shit down here. There's no old shells. There's no pile of random pipes. There's this thing, which ain't doing shit, but it's there and sh shouldn't be anymore, right? No, it shouldn't be, but it is. Okay. But here's one of my fantastic secrets I wanted to show you. You, you would have thought I'd, I'd have opened this before. I haven't. And I don't want to say it's a bad omen, but it was definitely a sign of things to come. It's repair books. Super old. I don't want to say super old. I'm going to say 90s ish. Major appliances. When was this? When was this? Here we go. When was it published? Silver Burdette Company, Silver Bullet Company, more like it. <laughs> 1987. This is, this is made when I was born. We got major appliances. We've got kitchen, kitchen, bathroom, and plumbing. More plumbing. Small appliances for your fucking iron. I wish they used it for a vacuum cleaner. Masonry, all for the basement. Lighting and electricity. Oh, like for the whole fucking house? Basic wiring. This whole house is basic. Home heating and cooling. Like maybe, I don't know, transitioning from a boiler and radiant heat to forced air. Bullshit. Oh, and here we go. Discovering the universe. The universe of the crack house, which is hell. It's a universe in hell. Take that, Thanos. God, I want to sell them. I want to put them on eBay and just call it the Crack House Edition. Maybe I'll frame them. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bullshit. I'll keep them in there for the next owner so that they can open it up and say, why is all this shit here? And I'll say, I'll put a little, a little sign, maybe a note that says, I see you're about to be as fucked as I was. Now, it wouldn't be the Crack House if there wasn't some bad news. Now, yes, of course, the ceiling is sagging and I have to prop that up and sister the joists with some more wood. But that's not horrible. Like, that's a quick and easy fix. You just gotta do it. I owe $1,500 in fines. Now, you're gonna say, but AC, all those complaints from the shithead neighbor 
were taken care of. You called the inspector's office in the city of Buffalo. You talked to an inspector. You told him the issues. You fixed the issues. He said this is, needs to be done. You did that so that there would be no issues. But yet an issue remained. I have two separate fines, and I'll tell you what they are. One is rodents. So like rats, like running through the yard. I don't know how I can prevent rats from running through my fucking yard. I mow the lawn, I get it mowed. There's nothing to here for them to fucking eat. And the original complaint, the unanswered fine, they say, unanswered by us, unanswered fine, is from 2020. What? I've called the office several times since then. How is this unanswered? It, plus it's during COVID. There's fucking assholes that didn't pay gas bills, electric bills, or any fucking shit, and they're they're able to keep their fucking homes and get no fines, then all of a sudden, not even a rat infestation. Somebody saw a rat run through the backyard, or I don't know, go down the fucking driveway, and I was, that's my fault? That's, that's my fucking fault? I live in a city. But like I said, there's no place for them to eat, or there's nothing for them to eat, there's no place for them to live around here. It's a fucking vacant home. What the fuck, how do I get in trouble for that? Thanks, asshole neighbor. Thanks. So I gotta go. I gotta go to court for that. The second one is having too much trash. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. I know. When you're fixing a house, heaven forbid, you put a bunch of bullshit on the front lawn, so you can pick it up the next two days. Oh, can't do that here. Can't do that without a fucking neighbor making a fucking stink about it. I swear to God, if I find a single person, I'm gonna have a nice, pleasant conversation with them. That's what I'll do. I'll have a pleasant conversation. And that garbage one is like. That's the biggest one. It's like, it's like $1,100, $1,200. The Rona one's like $250, $300. Bucks. This one, in 2021, last year in November, is $1,200. Bucks. So now i got to waste my time. And i got to go to court and tell the judge, the housing judge there, that one of my neighbors is a piece of shit. I'm fixing the house. I've been in contact with the... Which we call the Office of the City of Buffalo, the city inspectors, Office of the City of Buffalo. They've been very nice in, in assisting me. I've been getting dumpster loads of bullshit. Although I will say, as evidence, I have everything recorded. So I might get a new fan. I'll be like, Your Honor, I have video evidence. Here are the links. This is by a month by month basis. I hope you can feel my pain. $1,500. For making a house falling in on itself less shitty after I've already contacted the city umpteen times because some dickhead will leave me alone. If I was a bigger asshole, I'd shit on their lawn. Human shit. Big, like Taco Burger King shit. Oh, Burger King poops on the worst. You can't pick that up. That's not solid. It's just like a, a bolted volcano of poo. Well, on that note, I think it's time that we talk to Basement Jesus. You'll notice that Basement Jesus is hanging up now because my fantastic trash removal guy, Georgie, hung up our Lord and Savior. Basement Jesus, Basement Jesus, I thank you for helping me get this far. We have plowed through so much dung to get to where we are right now. We've got power. The whole house is strung up like a Christmas tree, Lord. Like your birthday. We are ready to celebrate and put these lights up. We got the nails out of the walls like the nails that were in you. Take them out. Rise again. You're not stuck up there on that cross. And this house isn't stuck to one either. The nails are down. We are free. About to build up those walls. We're not busting them down like the walls of Jericho no more. We are building them up. Building on a foundation of you, Lord. And that's why this house won't sink. That's why this crack house is slowly becoming a crack home, Lord. Because of you. Because of my undying faith in you. Thanks for Jesus. In your power, we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, if you want to support the crack house in my horrible endeavor in trying to make this absolute money pit into something respectable, Feel free to go to angry-cops.com and get yourself a Basement Jesus t-shirt or a This Old Crack House t-shirt or stickers or a mug. I don't care what you get. I'm just saying, if you enjoy the pain that I'm in and the money that I'm spending, that's, in, that's entertainment. 
Maybe we even it up. You buy a shirt. Support the cause. Otherwise, all this wood is just gonna get shoved up my ass. The whole everything is just going up my ass. The size of my asshole right now from just getting it packed it in. Buy a shirt or some stickers. I appreciate it. Side note, I've done it. I've created a this old crack house channel. I'll still be posting this old crack house stuff on the Angry Cops normal channel. However, I will be doing additional content on the this old crack house channel. So stories. What's the what are the shorts? Is it just YouTube shorts? Yeah, YouTube shorts. Quick little blurbs about what's going on and the bullshit that I'm dealing with so you can stay up to date on the crack house and shit, there's so much stuff going on I forget half the time to add things into the main video so you'll be up to date with everything that's going on including the stuff I forget to add in the main content. And if you want to see behind the scenes everything, then think about going to my Patreon, Patreon slash Angry Caps. I'll put it in the link below. What's more, you can't see any of the nails in here, but I had to take myself and two... I'll tell you what, I'm blessed to be surrounded by beautiful, capable women that I can just randomly bring into a crack house and they trust me enough to do work and I just feed them and get them drunk. And once again, everybody's okay with that. I don't know if they had poor upbringings and misplaced trust issues, but so far, so good for me.